and welcome to the positive side of the bad stuff. I'm Leslie Pogue, your host. Thank you for joining us again. And today we're carrying on the last part of the series, or last part of the show with the series, the Stop Shooting on Yourself. So last week we talked about identifying your truth, naming your tea, and taking the power away from whatever it is that's, that you're holding on to. This week we're going to be looking at your three obstacles and your three motivators. Now, something funny happens when your obstacle and your motivator becomes the same thing. I, I had an opportunity to audition for Debbie Allen once years ago. It was during the year of The Lion King and she was doing the choreography for the Oscars. I went in to sing. I had planned to sing out here on my own. And when I got there, I was so intimidated by all the talent that was around me that I changed it up at the last minute and I decided to sing home because I kept thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I just want to go home. All I want to do is go home. Home, that's a song. That's a really good song. I think I'll do that one. So I switched it up at the last minute. Well, I, my motivation was because I was a singer and I wanted to be on the stage and I wanted to propel my career forward. So you go to these auditions with the frame of mind that you are talent. This is a job, right? Right, until I saw my idol, Debbie Allen. Ah! I went crazy, right? So she walks into the room as magnificent as she is and I think she's amazing and wonderful still to this day and I was starstruck. So my motivation suddenly became my obstacle because the next thing that happened was so tragic. Debbie Allen called my name, which that's not tragic. That's wonderful and amazing. And I got so excited because in my head I kept thinking, oh, Debbie Allen said my name, Debbie Allen said my name, oh my goodness. And I'm standing in front of her and she asks me, so what will you be doing with for us today? I told her I would be singing home from the movie The Wiz. She said, whenever you're ready. And I began to sing. But I only sang the first verse. I said, thank you, turned, and left. I could have just killed myself at the time. I went in my car and I beat my steering wheel to a pulp and I was just so angry at myself. And for years it took a long time to really shake that. But I got in my own way. And we do that a lot of the times when we are faced with challenges or when we are overwhelmed by the situation or when we just let our nerves get the best of us. It happens. We're human beings. And when you're invested and, and, it's, and you're passionate about something, it's easy to get lost in the moment. So think about that. You don't want your obstacle, or rather you don't want your obstacle and your motivation to be the same thing. So how do you avoid that? Okay, well, first, you want to change how you think about obstacles. Obstacles traditionally are things that get in our way. Okay, well, and they, what they do is they, that gets in our head and it stops us. I like to give this analogy about obstacles. Think of an obstacle this way. Today is Monday, right? Okay. Well, in order to get to Tuesday, you have to go through Monday, right? Is Monday bad? No, not in and of itself. Sometimes we have bad Mondays, but it's just a day. It's just something we have to get through to get to the next thing, right? If we look at our other obstacles in the same way, then it takes, again, it takes the power away. It's just something we have to do to get to the next thing. And isn't that really just the process of, of getting to our goals and getting to our successes anyway? Absolutely. There are efforts and steps that we have to take. So instead of looking at your obstacles as this big giant stop sign, take another look and figure out okay, well, this is a small hindrance, be it money, time, your children, your spouse, your current 
job. These are things that don't necessarily have to stop you. Change the way you think about them and make them your motivators. I'll tell you, later on, I did use that Debbie Allen audition as a motivator. It was a motivation to try again, and I auditioned for The Voice. Now, my objective was not necessarily to get on The Voice, but it was to just get through the song, to sing the song until they told me to stop. That was the goal. And after standing in line for four hours <laughs> and sitting in a room of 10 other people, which I wasn't expecting that, I got the opportunity to stand in front of someone, sing the song that I love, because I do love the song Home, and I always did want to redeem it. And I sang it until he asked me to stop. And I was very pleased with my performance. I was very pleased with it. And so now that song no longer has power over me. It no longer conjures up a bad memory, although I will always remember that audition. But now I also have created and attached a positive outcome with it as well. And so now my obstacle has now turned into my motivation. What you want to do is you want to look at those things that you hold dear to you, your family, your career, your lifestyle. These are motivators. These should propel you forward to do the best and be the best you, you can be. And the obstacles that come along, along the way, let them be fuel for those motivators and allow yourself to say, this is just the thing I got to do to get to the next thing. That's it. Just say that to yourself. Eh, this is no problem. It's just something I have to do to get to the next thing. If you do that, then I can assure you those obstacles will just melt away. They'll find a way to get out of your way and you'll be able to move forward. So on the second step to stop shooting, no more shooting about what should be and how it should happen or what you should be doing. Look at those motivators and tell those obstacles to just get out of your way. And I know that you'll be great. 28 Days to Happy is a daily guide to walk you through acknowledging and accepting the truth about what's really going on in your world, to forgive yourself and others for the wrongs you feel have been done to you, and ultimately, to identify and celebrate the happiness that is always there, no matter what comes your way. The positive side of the bad stuff is a handy companion when you need a pick-me-up. It's a collection of blogs that speak primarily to personal soft skills that we all manage every day, from joy to grief, from who cares to self-care, it will give you a guide to make sense of the things in your life and find your positive side of the bad stuff. Both books are available now at Amazon.com and my website at www.softskillsdirect.com. All right, well, that's our show for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to tweet me, Facebook me, and reach out and send me any questions or comments that you have. I'd love to put them on the air and get them answered for you. Think about, you know, over the next week, really think about your motivations and your obstacles or what you're considering an obstacle because there is no such thing as an obstacle. It is just the thing you have to do to get to the next thing. And if you think about that in that way, then again, it takes the power away from it. You'll move forward towards your goals and you'll definitely use those motivators to push yourself forward and get to that end result, which is really what you want to do. You want to live the life that you want and you want to be happy in it. So have a great week and until next time, go be do.